okay, so pause the video and have a go at this dumping in just review. Okay, let's kick off. So the first one, let's uh, expand. So we have 4x plus 4 is equal to 5x minus 5, and put the x's on one side, so we can subtract 4x from both sides. So this will be 4 is equal to x minus 5. Okay, and then uh, we need to add 5 to both sides. Okay, so x is equal to 9. 2. Find the high, highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 15 and 48. So 15, we can write it um, as it's completely determined to be 5 factors. So we have 3 times 5, 48 in terms of its prime factors would be 2 times 2 uh, times 2 times uh, 2 times 3. So we do draw a Venn diagram. Okay, so it's 15. We've got three, which is both uh, a uh, factor of 15 and 48. So 15, uh, we need 5, and here we have 2, we have another 2, another 2, and another 2. Okay, so the highest common factor. Going to be three, and the lowest common multiple is multiplying all those values together. So that's going to be 15 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that's going to be 15 times 4 is 60, and then we 60 times 4 is 240. So let's express 116 as a percentage. So let's do uh, 16 into ones. Okay. So how many 16 goes into one? Zero. One over here. How many 16 goes into 10? Zero. Okay. Then let's put the 10 over here. How many 16 goes into a hundred. Um, so it's six. Okay, six. Oh, what's left over? So we have ninety-six. So six times sixteen is ninety-six. So four left over. Sixteen into forty would be two. And we have eight left over, 16 into 80 is 5. Okay, so now we want to express this as a percentage. So here's a percentage, it would be the same as 6.25 over 100. Okay, and this as that's a fraction, and this is a percentage, will be 6.25%. Okay, 8 over 9 divided by 4, this showed this calculation using a bar model. Okay, so we're going to do some drawings here. So here, let's draw a nice bar model. Okay, so they're all nice and equal. And so 4 fifths of this of this entire shape is eight ninths. So here, this is going to be two ninths, this is going to be two ninths, this is two ninths, this is two ninths. So all of this is eight over nine. And we want to uh, find the entirety of the bar model, entirety. Uh, so this is eight ninths. So this part here would be two over nine. 
the entirety of this would be 10 over 9. Okay. Okay, so for question 5. Okay, so first term, uh, first term is negative 5, and second term, we've got negative 5, and then we're adding 2 to 1. Third term, negative 5, and then we're adding 2 twice. So nth term is going to be course relationship. So second term, we're adding 2 just once. Third term, we're adding 2 just twice. Nth term will be adding two n minus one. Okay, and so you can simplify this. This would be eighty-five plus two n minus two, and so this would be two n minus uh, seven. Okay, you can check it. So with n equals one, um, so this would be two minus seven is equal to five. Question six. Uh, bread is made up of five parts of flour to three parts of liquid. Find the ratio of liquid to flour. So I'm going to draw a nice and bar model. So five parts. Okay, equal parts, which is going to be flour, then three parts liquid. Okay. So this is my three parts which is liquid, and this is my five parts which is flour. So here the ratio is five to three. If the recipe calls for 200 grams of flour, so all of this uh, is, so all this bit here is 200. Okay. Uh, so this is all 200, and we want to what, what one part is. So it'll be 40. This would be 40, 40, 40. Okay. So 40, and we want to know how much your liquid is needed. Okay. So now we're looking at the liquid parts. So this is going to be 40, 40, 40. So we have 340, so liquid. Okay, is going to be 3 times 40, which is equal to 120. Okay, so we've got 120 uh, grams, which will be liquid, or quantity of liquid, and then uh, we have 200 grams of flour. So pause the video and have a go at this task. Okay, so uh, we're trying to describe the translation from A to D. So here, this point has moved 10 units to the right. Okay, so I'm going to write it here. So since its first component is the horizontal direction, this is 10 units to the right. And then what's happened? It's moved two units down. It's been two units down. So we're going down to be a negative value. So it's not two. Okay, what about D to C? What's happened here? D to C. Okay, so we've got one particular point here, which is 4-1. Um, do we actually know what this point here is? Okay. In order to work out at this point, we actually need to firstly uh, work out what, what's the uh, extra action. So here, it's on the same uh, vertical line. So the x value is 4. What about the... The length of this. We can tell from here what the, the length is. So here this is a negative 4. Okay, this is 
goes in here, this is uh, 7, this is 3. So here this is going to be negative 4. So this negative 1, it's got down 4 units, so this is going to be negative 5. Okay, so now we can like, uh, see the translation. Okay, so it's just moved down. So horizontally, it hasn't moved to the right or left, so it's just zero. And it's moved down how many units? So this is a one to negative five, it's moved down six units. So since we move this down, we say it's negative six. Okay, what about from C to A? Okay, so let's have a look at this point here. So firstly, okay, so how many points, are like how far has it travelled to go to A? Okay, so we started at 4, it's gone to the left, uh, so it's gone to the left 10 units. Okay, so let's so write it down. So here, since we are going to the left, this is going to be a negative value, so it'll be negative 10 units. And then anyway, it's gone up. So we start at negative 5, it's gone up, and it's arrived at 3. So we start at negative 5, it's gone up uh, 8 units. Okay, you're in. So pause the video and have a go at describing the transformation. So, to describe the transformation, say from, let's say from S to A. Okay. So here, this is a reflection. Okay. And let's have a look at the, the reflection. This is, so here, since there's distance of two, this is a distance of two. Okay. And it touches the mirror line at angle 90 degrees. Okay. You can say that the mirror line here is right in the middle, so it's a reflection okay, on the line um, x equals to 4. Okay, let's have a look at um, s to p. Okay. So let's choose our point here. So what's happening? It's gone down. So when it goes down, it's a negative value. Okay. Has it uh, moved across? It hasn't moved across. So the first component is the horizontal direction, and the second component is the vertical direction. So horizontally, it's zero. And it's gone down, it's gone down three units. So we go down, it's negative three. Okay, what well about uh, let's have a look at S to T? Okay, so one way of looking at it is this is a combination of transformations. Okay, so firstly, we've had a translation. Translation. Okay, and here we went from S to B, and this was zero and negative three. And then the second transformation is we've had a reflection on the um, line x equals four. So check that this is true. So here this distance is two, this distance is two, okay, and here when it touches the mirror line, it makes angle 90 degrees. So this is a reflection on line x is equal to 4. Okay, so pause the go and think why in this case the student is correct. Okay, so this student said it doesn't matter whether you reflect or uh, translate. 
first. So here uh, we firstly did uh, translation. So we went to S to T, and here we started with a translation. Okay, and that trace translation was zero negative three. And then afterwards we did a reflection. On line X plus four. Okay. And we we got uh, the new shape T. So let's do the opposite, let's do a reflection on the line x equals 4. So here we're going to sort of s to t. We'll start with a reflection. Okay. So here we do a reflection on the x equals 4. Okay, here creates an angle of 90 degrees with the mirror line, so we get a on x is equal to 4. Then afterwards, we do the translation of 0 and negative 3. So it's 0 and uh, negative 3. Okay, so here, let's use this point. Okay, it hasn't moved horizontally, hence why the uh, first component is 0, but it's moved down 3 units. So we're going down it's going to be a negative, negative three. So in this case, it doesn't matter whether you uh, reflect first or translate first. Okay, so in the previous slide, it didn't matter whether you uh, reflected first or translated first. Okay, the uh, the aftermath is, is the same. Here, we're going to uh, change the order. So the first one, I've got my um, my A, and I'm going to do a translation first. So the translation is negative two, two. So the translation first. Translation. Okay, this is here. I'm going to the left uh, horizontally, so it's going to be negative two. I'm going to go up. So when you go up, this is positive. So this is two. And now I need to reflect it. And here I'm reflecting it on this oblique uh, line. So how can I do that? So firstly, you've got to hit the, okay, we want to be hitting uh, the mirror line, okay, at an angle of uh, 90 degrees, okay. So here, let's nice little, just hit it, 90 degrees, okay. Okay, and then We've moved three diagonals, and then we're going to just go, go the same direction. We're going to move three diagonals. Okay. So here, our image is here. Is this point here? Okay. Okay. So that's when we did translation first, and then we did uh, reflection. Reflection. Uh, on the mirror line. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, we're going to do the reflection first, and then the translation. So let's do reflection. Okay. So we're going to hit it. How are we going to do? We're going to hit it at an angle of 90 degrees. So let's hit it. Makes a nice angle of 90 degrees, and you can check this in 90 degrees by either using your protractor or if you uh, have a ruler, the corner of a ruler is 90 degrees. You can uh, check, oh, yeah, this is uh, 90 degrees. And then we're going to go in the same direction. So here, this is like three diagonals, so continues to be three diagonals. Okay. And then afterwards, I'm going to do my translation. So, translation. So this is negative two and two. So negative two it means I've gone to the left two, and then I go up two. Okay. 
Well, so here I've just discovered that it didn't really matter at all. Okay, I've still arrived at this point here. Okay, so whether I do transaction first or transaction first, actually in this case, uh, it's the same result. Okay, so pause the video and see if this makes any difference if you do the translation first or the reflection first. Okay, so here uh, we are, this triangle, we're going to do the reflecting first. So here, just choose a nice corner. So point. Okay, so here I hit the mirror line 90 degrees, and then I continue. Okay, and here, this point here, I hit the mirror line 90 degrees, and then I continue at the same distance. So my shape will look a bit like this. Okay. And now I am going to translate it one, two. So that means that I'm going. Uh, one unit parallel to the x-axis, or one unit to the right. Okay, so one unit to the right. So let's uh, have a look at this. So one unit to the right, and then I'm two units up, so two units parallel to the y-axis. Okay. So this point here will move to here. Okay. Okay. And I'll do the same for the other point as well. So here, this point is going to go one unit to the right and two units up. Okay. So let's uh, draw these lines. Okay. And then I can like switch it off. Okay. So this is. What it looks like after reflection and then translation. Now I'm going to do translation first, so it's going to be one unit to the right and then two units up. So right here, and this point here, one unit to the right and two units up. So let's draw it, and the third one will be the same. And now I'm going to reflect it. So you look at this point here, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit the mirror line 90 degrees, and then I'm going to continue. Okay. This point here, I'm going to hit the mirror line at uh, 90 degrees. Okay, and then I'm going to continue at the same distance, which is like uh, one and a half diagonals. Okay, uh, so if you do the same with the third point, then you can finish, so we up to this. Okay, so let's uh, make a little comparison. So, this is my image after translation and reflection, and here, this is my image after reflection and translation. So, here, it does make a difference. Uh, whether you reflect first or translate first. Okay.